so if we want to be healthy, we want to be at our optimal weight. We want to feel great on a regular basis. And we want to live a long life and as, as free of chronic disease as possible, we want to control our insulin levels. And so you mentioned several different strategies there. Um, now, obviously, you have a lot of experience using fasting. And I know as a nephrologist, you're working with a lot of people with diabetes, kidney issues, a lot of people coming in with chronic disease. How do you get them started with a lot of these strategies, including fasting? Um, yeah, I think that the simplest is fasting because it's it's very easy for people mm -hmm. to understand. It's been used for thousands of years. Uh, you know, the problem with changing diets very often is that people are very fixed to their the foods that they eat, um, which is which is normal. If you simply say don't eat anything, then it's it's easy to conceptualize that. And it's easy to uh, to to know what to do, right? Because if you say, okay, eat this ketogenic diet, that's fine. But then you get all these questions: Is this keto? Is this keto? Is this keto? Is this keto? Um, whereas fasting is a much, you know, it's a cleaner, simpler solution. So it's also a very powerful solution because, uh, of course, you can't eat less than zero. So therefore, it is really the ultimate in terms of diet and sort of the fastest way that you can reduce uh, insulin levels. You really can't, again, you can't go lower than zero, so you really can't go lower than fasting. So it's the most powerful, it's the simplest, it's 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 not fun. Like I never said it was fun, right? I just said it's, it's useful. So from people who are very sick, it is a very good tool. And the, the thing is that a lot of people, you know, over the last 20, 30 years um, of society, we've gone the other way, right? As opposed to, you know, in the 70s where you had, you didn't eat after dinner, you went right through to breakfast, right? You had 12 hours, so you eat dinner at seven, you eat breakfast at seven or nine, say that's 12 to 14 hours of fasting that every person did every single day without thinking about it. Nowadays, people think it's crazy to go more than three hours without eating. Right? It's like uh, we've gone so far the other way that we have to eat, eat, eat all the time, even to lose weight. It's like, and I'm always thinking, how does that work? Like, how do you eat to lose weight? You really cannot because it's completely opposite. It's like, go jump in the lake to dry off. It's like, no, you, you, you really can't do that, right? You can't eat to lose weight. So the fasting is uh, the thing that I tend to focus on because it's simple, right? And you, all you have to do is start slowly because I'm dealing with a lot of older people, a lot of people who are very ill, who are on other medications and gradually ramp your way up. So you can start with, again, don't eat after dinner, make sure you go right through till breakfast. And then you can gradually lengthen that period of time if you need to. A lot of people will do well anyway, but then if they want to lose weight, then they can start experimenting with going longer, sort of either eating uh, breakfast later or eating dinner earlier and, and gradually even dropping one of the meals. Because the truth is that if you don't eat, like people are always, like, they tend to overthink things, right? Things are not that complicated. Body fat, and blood glucose are two ways that the body uses to store calories, okay? So if you have too much glucose, which is diabetes, or you have too much body fat, which is obesity, then you have too much stored food on your body. So if you don't eat, your body will use the calories that are stored as body fat or as blood glucose. That's it. That's all that happens during a fast. So why are people like fearing the fast? Like, why is it so bad to fast? When you fast, your body will use body fat. That's what it's there for. You're using it for what it's there for. So why not do it, right? Don't overthink these things. After a fast, will you be more hungry? Yes, you might be, in which case you have to control the, uh, you know, you do have to control what you're eating. But on the other hand, you just have to understand that there's nothing intrinsically wrong with not eating. That's the reason that your body has has these sources of energy. We wouldn't have survived. If, if we didn't have a way to store energy, we'd die in our sleep every single night, but we don't. So therefore, let's just use it for what it's there for. Yeah. And our, our ancestors, you know, you go back a thousand years ago. I mean, we didn't have refrigerators, pantries, things like that. So it was very common. They go through feast and famine cycles when food was available, they eat as much as they could. And it was very satiating foods. Like you talked about 
high in fiber, fat, healthy fats, proteins, things like that. So they were satiated and they couldn't really store much. And so there were times where they didn't have a good hunt or they didn't have a good harvest. And therefore they were in a, in a, in a season of fasting and their body had to adapt to it. And sometimes they would go days without food. And instead of getting weak and like just laying there because they didn't have any energy, oftentimes they got stronger. They got their senses were heightened because all of the hormonal mechanisms that took place, elevated growth hormone, norepinephrine, different things like that, which gave them a bit greater ability to go out and hunt and be more successful and you know, higher probability of being successful because their senses were heightened. So it's interesting yeah. what happens. It's interesting and it's all physiology. Like people, like this is all sort of basic human physiology that we've understood. It's like first year medical school stuff, right? When you don't eat, insulin is going to fall, right? So your body is going to start liberating some of the energy that's stored. So glucose is going to go into the system. It's going to use body fat. That's fine. But other hormones go up. Growth hormone goes up, which preserves lean mass. Norepinephrine goes up, which is going to increase your concentration abilities. It's going to increase your senses and give you more energy, which is why we have all these studies, for example, like they'll me measure, say, metabolic rate. And, uh, you know, after four days of fasting, what they measure is that the, the metabolic rate, the number of calories the body is burning is actually up by 10%. Hmm. And people have known this forever. I mean, you think about the hungry wolf, the wolf who hasn't eaten for a while. Is it like just falling down, tired? <laughs> no, it's focused and energetic. That's what you want to be. You want to be the hungry wolf. You don't want to be that lion that just ate, you know, sleepy, you know, sort of yeah. like that food coma, you know, post Thanksgiving, sort of like, oh, I just need to lie down sort of feeling like that's not energy. That's because you ate and you're, you know, you need to digest, right? Um, hunger is not like that. And fasting is not like that. And, and it's always strange that so many people are so against it sometimes. I mean, it's less now than when I started. When I started, it was completely like people were telling me all about this. I'm like, read your basic physiology textbook, man. It's not anywhere close to what is happening out there. And, 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 you know, the whole, this whole idea about, you know, burning muscle, I think is also way over blown too. I mean, it all, everything depends on your clinical situation. Because mm -hmm. I see this sometimes people are out there saying, oh, it makes you lose protein and stuff. It's like, uh, lose muscle is the one I, 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 I was just looking at actually. And it's, it's sort of ridiculous because they do these DEXA scans or something like that before and after a fast. And they say, oh, I lost like 10 pounds of muscle. It's like, so in other words, you think the human body is so incredibly stupid that when, you know, your when it's, you know, you have, when you're storing energy, you store body fat, but when you actually need that body fat, you go and burn your muscle. Is that right? You think the body is just that stupid, right? Um, and of course it's not because when they actually studied, why is it that the muscle looks like it goes down? They, they, they took these men, they put them through a 10 day fast and said, there's a huge amount of muscle loss according to the scan. But when they actually broke it down, it was all, uh, basically muscle glycogen and water yeah. that was being lost. Because if you actually were to measure these people after they sort of lost all this muscle, you know, a week later, they've magically regained all this muscle without doing exercise, right? It's like, what, you think that people just lose 10 pounds of muscle without, for, for no reason while maintaining muscle strength and then regain it without doing exercise? Like, I wish. Uh, and what was interesting about the study where they did a 10, you know, 10 day fast is that when they actually measure strength, strength actually went up in certain, in certain muscles by about 33%. Wow. It's like, oh, so they weren't losing muscle. They're actually much stronger than they were mm. before. And my, some of it may have been the sympathetic uh, tone yeah. that was elevated. But in other words, no, you're not burning muscle. Now, if you're at like 3% body fat, sure, maybe you will. But I'm mostly treating people well in excess of the average, which is sort of 20 to 25% body fat, right? So for somebody who weighs 200 pounds, you're talking about 50 pounds of body fat that's sitting there. And that's for an average person. Like 25% is not like really, they don't look like overweight. I mean, 
the people who look overweight are at like 40% body fat, right? So it's like 50 pounds of body fat. And you think the body's just that stupid. That's just going to start burning muscle, right? I don't think so. 